Hello everybody, this is Nightmare Acid and Nightmare Reeves, what's up? Bringing you another Capture the Flag match. Woo! Today we're going to be talking Woo! about um, a different topic of Woo! Mother Warfare. But um, something that involved uh, a lot of people, a lot of teenagers and people um, over 18 that um, will affect you sometimes. Depends about your family, I don't know. But we, we're going to be talking about how family members friends and even though people who are not in your family will um talk about you for playing video games as and considering you a bad person and they will be like um playing video games it is worthless playing video games it doesn't make any sense playing video games it will just keep you in your room um doing it all day blah 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 all right Here's what I think, in my opinion, um, because by personal experience, um, people will think that you you playing video games in your room is bad because you're not doing anything supposedly. And let me tell you, um, I'm not doing that much sport right now. But usually Reaper and me, I mean Reaps, Reaper and me, we go on the skates and um, practice on the sport or something. We always, you know, do something at least in the week. We go out. We have life. We we do more stuff. We just we just we just we don't just play video games, right? Yeah. Well, like tomorrow, we're gonna go be in a music video for this upcoming artist that goes by Test Done, and uh, woohoo! Yeah. So, um, now the other side. Look at the other side. Um, this is us gamers, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. I I chose to be a gamer because I like video games. I really enjoy video games. I remember my first video game that I played was um, Soul Calibur. No, no, it was Mario Bros. And uh, mm -hmm. I got so addicted to the game, and I found video games really really cool. But in that time, in my country, from the country that that I came from, uh, I didn't have the money to play, to buy a console, so. I had to go with my friend and play video games with him. So, um, but that's another thing. So, we chose to be gamers, and in this case, Mother Warfare, um, because well, I play another game. So I yeah, played. we we we're not just solely COD, but we focus on COD because it's like the most fun right now. But you know, we play some Bioshock, some Vanquish. Uh, I play Skate Three every month in a while. God of War. Yeah, God of War 3 is a really good game. It's like, awesome. The list goes on and on. And awesome. On. And Bioshock is a pretty, pretty good game. I fall in love with that game. Oh, yeah. And Soul Calibur is pretty cool. Soul Calibur, yeah, too. We used to play in the GameCube a lot. Yeah, we game. used to play a lot on the GameCube back in the and, day. And um, Metroid, my favorite game ever. Um, Dude, I love that video game. Acid I knows Metroid Prime Echoes 2 on the GameCube like the back of his hand. He knows every single fucking level, every single little hidden secret the monsters because there's certain monsters where you have to kill them in a certain way use different guns he knows all that shit i and played like, that game so damn. much and my brothers don't know that because um yeah when i used to live with my mom um, i used to play that game a lot, a lot. so well back to the subject back to the topic and <coughs> we chose this life to be video gamers right and what about the people who chose to be in like in the street um, being in gangs, drinking alcohol, being in the party life, um, doing drugs, all that stuff. Is that right? Is that better than playing video games? Is that better than sitting in your home, safe, uh, being in your house and not having no housing or getting in any trouble than playing a video game? I mean, I'm 24 years old and I come home after work and I play Call of Duty. And if I have some stress of the day, I will bring it up on the game. I will be, like, maybe I will be mad, I will be stressed. But I come to the game and I play and I forget about it. Then I go to sleep and I'm happy. Alright, so, and, and this is a question for everybody. And leave a comment, you know. Um, what, what, are, what are your experiences in your life? As a video gamer, what have, what have you leave? What have you leave being a gaming video gamer? Sorry, my English is getting fucked up right now. I don't know why. Um, 
because your mom yell at you because you play video games so much. Um, your dad, uncles, whatever. They come with all this negative stuff on you. Leave a comment, that would be nice, you know. That, it will make us think in the future uh, about new topics and thinking, you know, what you can use your example. So, Reaper, what do you have to say about that? Well, I just don't think it's fair that it's like people out there look look down on gamers as if we're a lesser person as they are just because we play games as a hobby. And it's not like we we're like it's not like we we that's all we do. Like we have lives. We go to school, Asa goes to work. And like that's not that's not all we do. It's just a hobby, but just because we play video games every once in a while they're like, "Oh, they're wasting their time with their lives and they're not doing anything, they're just being lazy people playing video games in front of a TV all day. And I don't think that's fair. And like, there, there is some few people out there, like some big YouTubers, that they play video games and make a living out of it. And that's pretty cool. Like, you know, when we were little, we all wanted to play video games, but we all thought it was like a childish dream that could never come true. But now, video games are to the point where you can do that, like... Uh, I'm gonna say a few names here, but I don't know if I can, and if I can, I'm sorry, but like, uh, Wings of Redemption, he, he uploads a lot of good content, and that's his life right there, and he, he's, he's said it in, uh, multiple times on PKA and on a few of his, uh, videos that if it wasn't for, like, Machinima and him uploading games, he'd be working at a dead-end job somewhere that he hates, or, and now he's doing something he loves, and... I, I don't think he will get mad if we mention him because we're um, not talking any anything bad about him. But I, yeah. I will say because I listen to their show and I find like those three guys the best example of being successful in in this being a YouTuber, being a commentator, and all this about video games. Why? Because we you can actually do a living of video games. Yeah. And for me, that will be the perfect job. That will be the best. Working the, like, like around video games and commentating and all this stuff. That that, that will have been my dream over the years. So, why do you guys think that we are doing this? Because, come on, you guys. It's not like we are just doing this just because of fun. We are doing it because we want to show everybody that we are a good team. And we want to, you know get big and um one day i hope so that just like the older commentary big commenters became famous and became big we could do that i mean that will be a, a the best experience of my life not because of the money because money you can get it and i'm telling you by experience because yeah, i money comes and goes dude uh, one day i remember i wasn't i was working in a job it was a really heavy job but i was getting a really good pay I mean, I'm talking about when you used to weld. Yeah, I, I used to be an uh, industrial welder, and yeah, he melts metal I with a torch. Just, I will make like almost two thousand dollars in a week, and easy, really easy. So money will go and, and, and be today and here and tomorrow it will not. So another thing that I wanted to mention is like something that I really admire of some, just some commentators that now are famous they still being the same and they haven't changed for the money and I a I, I tombs up for you guys I feel really really um how do you, how do you wanna say it? I feel you guys are a really good example but there's there are some commentators and I don't, I'm not gonna say names they forgot now that they were like just like us at the point oh we yeah. are right now there, there's a few commentators out there that forgot what it's what the whole point of doing commentaries is and now for them for a few of them now they, they're all cocky and conceited and they're like oh yeah and it's all about the money for them now and that that sucks because you know they were at first i thought they were cool but now it's like all they really cared about was getting famous and getting money when yeah we got 20 seconds um, so i think we're gonna be keep talking about in the next commentary about this so you know Keep uh, um, keeping on. Um, um, come to the channel. Leave a comment, please. Um, even the nightmares from the clan, please leave a comment, you guys. And um, we'll see you guys in the next video.
and the last and the score was 17 and zero you guys subscribe please Woo! subscribe see you guys later